okay? It's tied on. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing that most people never use along the Gulf Coast is an inline spinner that's used for things like muskie and pike. It's got a big treble hook on it, big blade, it's heavy, it goes through water, displaces, and makes a lot of movement and flash, and guess what? Our redfish love it, and we're gonna catch some on this today. This is a little trade secret I'm giving y'all right here. <laughs> These things work awesome. that we use things that are a little bit different. I mean, this bait right here, I popped off the other one. I switched to different color. I don't think color when it's a sunny day today, as long as we got some flash, that's gonna help us out a lot. But he ate this bait really good. I mean, he's got it right on the top. You got to see it. I threw out, brought it across. He come darting out of the grass and got a hold of it. You know, this inline spinner like this, this is very odd for people to fish this, especially along the Gulf Coast. And I'm teaching you a new trick, and I promise you, it's gonna produce really good for you. All right, let's get him, get this hook out of him. And they got a really stout, big treble hook on these baits. And uh, that helps out a lot with, with, you know, them not bending up and getting messed up on it. I got some grass on here, but you gotta remember, grass is not gonna affect this bait because of that big blade on the front. So, it's a beautiful little fish. He's uh, he gave us what we wanted. Awesome. We'll release him, let him fight another day. But that's the key of trying to figure out different concepts and different techniques when you're fishing. To be a little bit different than everybody else will catch you more fish, because don't think that fish don't notice baits over and over and don't bite them. But this one, we tricked him with this new bait. All right, boy, go back in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, he went down in that grass. Here he comes. He, oh, you run this bait right up on that grass, and what they do is they, they dive right back down into the grass because they feel secure. You know, that's where they're hanging. But as this bait goes across that, these little pockets and, and little coves in that grass, they dart right up and grab it and then shoot right back down. Now, normally, you know, we would use you know, like spinner baits or gold spoons in this situation. You know, well, you know, that's what most of the people from Louisiana, Texas, or Florida would do. You wouldn't use, uh, you know, this type of uh, style of bait. But the thing is, is that when you use this type, what it does is that not only is it something different that they see, this bait just displaces so much water and offers so much flash that it looks like either a wounded bait fish or like a little school of a uh, fish coming through the water and they just fall for it. And I'll tell you when, you, when you find fish like this, I mean, this is a gorgeous, beautiful fish. When you find fish like this up in this grass like this, 
These are really good eating fish because they're eating a lot of uh, small mullet, crabs, different things like that, and they just love it. Look at him, he's got some extra spots on the other side. I mean, that is just one awesome fish. Now, try this concept. You gotta get these baits. You can pick them up at local tackle stores, academy, um, anybody's got them, and uh, you buy the bait, tie it on. It takes a little bit of time to get used to when it hits the water, you gotta start retrieving and get the retrieval rate down correct. But once you do and you start bringing it across the top of this grass, I'm telling you right now, it's a deadly, deadly combination to get redfish, speckled trout, bass, they all eat it. And that's what's awesome about it. Hey, try this concept out and I promise you, you're gonna have an exciting fishing trip next time. Awesome.